hierarchical queries. Literally, a hierarchy of data allows you to retrieve data which is constructed as a hierarchy and to represent it as a hierarchy. The category table in our concept schema actually has a two-level hierarchy with parent categories and categories. We can use that example and we will use one or two others to get a better representation. As you can see, a hierarchy is really a tree-like structure. That's what we mean by hierarchy. Hierarchical queries allow us to represent hierarchical structured data in a hierarchical or tree-like structured order. Here's a typical hierarchical query. I have a standard select statement, including the pseudo column called level, which gives us a level in the tree. Connect by allows us to connect parent and child rows. Prior operator allows the connect by to connect between a child and a parent row. Start with will allow us to start at a particular point in the tree or hierarchy. As we said, the level pseudo column will give us a level number for the level at which we are in the tree, for that specific row, in other words. Take a look at this example we have on the right. We have a family tree here, which we will use as a practical example in SQL Plus in a minute. This is a family tree for the Ford company, the company that manufactured lots and lots of motor cars. William Ford I married Rebecca Jennings, produced John Ford, he married this person, produced that, married that, etc., etc. Here we have a query, which is a hierarchical query using start with, connect by prior, and level to produce that structure as a tree-like representation in SQL. William Ford is first, then John Ford with his father William Ford I, William Ford II was fathered by John Ford, etc., etc. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's look at the category table using just the connect by. And I have my column formatter in here to make sure I can see everything. Here I have everything represented in what looks like could be a hierarchy. Now let's apply prior to the category ID and see how it's different. What we should be doing now is linking the parent and child records. Here we have parent 1, category 2, which is actually parent 2, and then 3, and 4 down here. So the parent ID 4 precedes all its child records, sorted in category ID order. Now let's go and create the hierarchy I showed you with the family tree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new table. The error pops up with the drop table command because the table didn't exist in the first place. It's unimportant. Let's go and insert some records. And let's make sure we select a few at a time, just in case we have any errors, and to make sure that we don't overflow the buffer on SQL Plus and My Machine. Now we have some data in there representing the Ford family tree. Let's go and do a simple connect by and see how it develops. So here we have the name of the child and the parent. Note, within this data, I only have connections between father and children, not mother and children. Now I'm going to apply connect by prior, and I'm going to start with William Ford I. William Ford I happens to be the top layer in the tree, or the top level. And here I have William Ford and my hierarchical structure. Now I'm going to include the level pseudo column, so I can see what level is what. Here we go, level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let's go a small step further and change the start with level, or point in the hierarchy, to John Ford, which means we're not going to go to the top of the hierarchy, we're going to go part way down it. And we'll run this query again, and we can see that William Ford as a parent is no longer in the query.